Hey, y'all. So, I was just laying here just thinking. And something that just came to me and I wanted to talk about was um, fear. I wanted to talk about fear. I think what kind of triggered this and led to me having this talk right now with you guys is um, last night I was in my bed and uh, my daughter happened to come in here. She was sleeping with me and we heard some weird, strange, very strange noises out from out coming from outside. Right. And it, in my opinion, was no sound that I've ever heard in my life. But it sounded like an aircraft. But it didn't sound like a helicopter. It didn't sound like an airplane. It didn't sound like a blimp or any damn thing that flies that we know of. It sounded completely outwardly in me and my daughter's opinion. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to go outside and see what that is. Right? Of course, I'm like, no. I mean, it could be anything. Like, what if it's something and we're going to get abducted like no that's scary da, 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 da. right and as we looking outside because we ended up looking out the window we see like three like all the way over in the like we have a neighbor next to us and there's another neighbor so we can see like three backyards two backyards over from us in the second yard there was like three animals or something like that just moving around in the yard I guess we assume they were deer. I don't have the best eyes when it comes to far distances, so I don't know. I could just see three brown objects moving around, and they just looked it big. And so we were talking about how coincidental it was that whatever that noise was, we heard, and now all of a sudden we just see these three animals. So, yeah. And so we got on the subject about, like, aliens, seeing said aliens, being around said aliens, and things like that. And the immediate thing I went to was fear, right? Well, she was more on, like, curiosity. Like, hey, it'd be nice to see one, nice to meet one. It'd be very intriguing, right? Well, I'm like, nah, it'd be scary. I'd be afraid. Now, that got me thinking today about fear. Fear. Um, I feel like a lot of us are controlled by our fear. Right? Because, see, this goes deeper than just me specifically mentioning it's about that alien. But just fear in terms of, like, life, what we accomplish from our lives and how we just get through life, right? I think a lot of us live with a lot of fear and self-doubt. And I know that I'm one of them. I have fear. Right? Because even when I have great ideas, things I really want to do, I'll put some fear behind it and a little bit of self-doubt or a lot of self-doubt maybe. I tell myself, you know, this could never work or where would this go? How would you do it? You really think you can do that? I think not. I think you're going to fail the minute you even try to start. I don't think it's a good idea. I think you should just give it up. And I just see how this fear plays out every day in my own life. And I just want to say I'm sick and tired of it. And I just want to tell all of you out there is that you don't need to be fearful anymore. Stop being afraid. Like, just be the best that you can be and ignore that fear. Ignore that self-doubt. And just go for what you know and what you want. You know? Tap into your higher vibrations, your higher energy, because at the end of the day, fear is one of the lowest energies you could ever experience. And if you look around you, the society is based off fear. Everywhere you turn, it's always somebody trying to keep you scared of something, keep you in fear of something. Right? Every time you turn on the stupid box, a.k.a. the television, right, the TV, the television, every time you turn it on, it's always somebody on there trying to scare you. I don't care from whatever the hell you like to watch, from the news to those stupid ass uh, reality TV shows or whatever. 
It's always someone trying to program you with some kind of fear or negativity in some way. Just look. Just start paying attention to everything that that's what comes on TV. And then you'll get it. But I, I think that, you know, in this matrix we live in, um, it's very lucrative and to be fearful because it keeps you at that nine to five job you hate while it keeps those big CEOs getting paid big money, right? Fear is going to keep you from rising up and standing up for yourself against corruption, right? And fear that you're going to lose every fucking thing around you. I don't want to lose my house. I don't want to lose my car. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose my freedom. Fear is going to keep you in a position where you know that it's wrong, but you ain't going to say nothing because of the amenities, because of the comfort that you're getting from it. Right? From the, the benefits. Right? We know we all deserve more. We know we all deserve to be in a better position than we are now. And we just keep living like this every day because fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear that you may not make it. And fear that if you actually do make it, it's going to be too hard to keep up with. So you may eventually fail anyways down the road. But you know what? I'm here to say to myself and to everybody else out there, whoever needs to hear this, fuck fear. Get over it. Fuck fear. What's more important to you? Achieving everything that you ever wanted in life, getting all your goals met, or staying in the same position in life that you was yesterday or the year before, the year before that. Which one is more important to you? Looking back on your life 20, 30 years from now and saying, you know what, I'm happy that I made the sacrifices I did so I could be put into this amazing position. Or looking back on your life 20, 30, 30 years from now saying, damn, I wish that I would have made this decision to do something better with my life because I'm still living the same way I was when I was 25, 26. And now I'm in my 40s and 50s and ain't shit changed for me. So now that, that right there is enough to make you say fuck fear and go up after your fucking dreams. I'm sorry I'm getting so passionate about this that I'm cussing. I don't even know if YouTube allows this shit. I have a potty mouth sometimes. But seriously, fuck fear. Fuck self-doubt. Fuck anxiety. Fuck depression. Fuck all that shit. Get off your ass and go get what you want. That's today's daily motivation for myself and for y'all. And I'm out.